Hi there, thought I'd just do a quick video about save files on PlayStation because I still get comments about them. Um, so obviously some people still don't know because it is a bit more confusing than the PS4. Uh, we're on the PS5 here and um, we're gonna be, I'm going to show you two ways to do this for, well, for both types of games. You've got PS5 games and then you've got PS4 games. Um, if you go to a PS5 game once you first downloaded it and started it and you have a save file you'll see check sync status of saved data it's automatically going to upload upload your save files uh, when you're playing the game now you may not want this you may want to manipulate saves as i do in my guides quite often uh, so you can't actually do it from here straight away so this is for just a ps5 game i'll show you ps4 in a moment uh, so you go over to settings and down to save data game app settings and then you can see there you've got ps5 they're actually separated as well so if you're playing a ps5 game and you want to upload it to the cloud then if you go to upload and uh, or delete if you want to delete it as well uh, it'll just give it a moment and i've not actually played this i've just started it just so i could do this video uh, so if you go here and you choose the ones you want to upload so i'm just going to do sniper ghost warrior here and then upload it's going to say that it's going to remove this auto sync now which is what you actually want most of the time uh, so do yes and then you'll go to the part where you can actually upload it so always check you're doing console over to cloud and then you can upload it and now if you want to upload and download I'll show you download in a moment uh, you can go onto the game itself and press options and now you can do it from here it's kind of unlocked it so if you do it from here it'll take you straight to that and you can upload and download for this specific game now uh, so yeah the upload and downloading is the same i'll do it from here because you get more options so ps5 game you can upload and uh, delete from the console so if you want to upload it to the cloud use this one if you want to download or delete from cloud storage you obviously use this one now if you want to do on a ps4 you actually get another option which is really handy for me especially when i'm doing guides uh, if you go to the ps4 games so you go over to upload you still have upload and delete from the console you have download and delete from the cloud but you also have copy or delete from usb so copy two should i say so if you do have a USB stick or something that you can use, then you can also just copy and paste the same way you would do to a cloud. So you can have two separate save files. Say you're doing a game and you want, you know, you, you want to stop there and you want to carry on um, to do a trophy later on. And then you want to do another backup save and still have one. You can do it on a USB. But this is only PS4 games, which is a shame because... We're on a PS5, so we want to do it on a PS5. One day Sony might do it, so this might be outdated by the time they do it. Uh, and you will be able to do it for PS5 games as well. I don't know why you can't, but it's really handy. Um, I don't, I just, I can't think why they haven't done it, but there you go. So, yeah, uh, I think that's covered pretty much everything. And then here's a PS4 game, for example. And then uh, I think you can actually automatically do it on PS4 games anyway, straight from here. It's just for PS5 games, you need to unlock it first. I've already done it on this one. Uh, and then you're able to manipulate saves. So, yeah, that's about it. I should have made this video ages ago, because people do ask. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.